Right, hello, welcome back. I'm James and this is the second tutorial on Risk OSC development. Lovely. Let's get right into it. So we got all the stuff we needed the last tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to start programming in C. We're going to make a little Hello World application um, for those who are not that familiar with C. So first of all we need a text editor. Now one comes with the uh, Raspberry Pi Risk OS distribution. So if we go into our apps, we're going to open Strong ED. Lovely. Now we're going to go and right click on it in the bottom corner and hit C. And this opens a text window with C syntax highlighting. So that's um, it's going to change the colours of certain keywords to make our lives a bit easier. You'll you'll see it happen. Different words will be different colours depending on what they mean. So let's get started. So we're going to. Well, I'll, I'll write this and then I'll explain it afterwards. Um, going to be quite familiar to people who've programmed before. Um, right. So um, hold exclamation mark because this is exciting. This is our first risk OS um, application. Brilliant. So this is it. So include stdio.h. Now what the hell is that? Include means we're going to use some code that someone else has written. We're going to include it into our program. And this is the standard input output library. Um, pretty much every C compiler should have that. So you can always use this code. This code should work on any machine with any compiler. Fingers crossed. Now next, int main. So this is declaring a function, and a function is a chunk of code which you can jump to and then jump back from repeatedly. Um, and you write the contents of your function between these, these curly brackets. Now, inside, we've got a function called printf, the print function. That's coming from this library here. And so we're going to print onto the screen, hello world. And um, you'll see there's a semicolon here. That's like a full stop. Uh, that's the full stop of the C language. Every line which does something should have a semicolon at the end. And then we're going to return zero. So I'll explain what that means. Here, int, you can, every function returns, it gives back. You can give it information and then it gives back information. And in this case, it's going to give back an integer. And in fact, hopefully it's going to give back the integer zero. I say hopefully because when you open, when, when you run a program, uh, the operating system finds the main function and runs it. And if everything runs OK, it should return zero, which means oh, nothing broke. Everything's OK. It all worked. Lovely. So that's what that means. Um, so let's get, let's get this all running now. So we're going to open our documents. We're going to go into documents here. I'm going to create a new, I'm going to create a new folder so you can middle click, which is the menu button, uh, new directory, programming, lovely. Um, let's go into here. I'm going to create a new directory for tutorial. Now I realise that could be spelled wrong. I really can't spell. I'm really sorry. I've offended any of you English lovers. Now um, inside here we have to make a folder called C. And I explain why. In Linux, Windows, or any other operating system, normally you have the name of a file and then the file type. That's not that's not the same in uh, Risk OS. In Risk OS, you um, you actually set the file type a different way, and it's it's not got an, an extension on the end, a dot, something or other. But GCC was made for Unix, uh, when you need that dot. Um, so what we do instead is we create a C folder and inside the C folder, any file that would have ended in .c, we then put in there. So in Linux, um, we'd save this as hello world.c. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're going to save this as hello world. Um, and we're just gonna stick it in the C folder. Lovely, so that, that's all that done. So then let's get, um, yeah, let's get, let's get compiling. So if we open a task window, you can hit control F12. You can 
middle click and hit task window here. Um, now let's start. Let's so we need to get into this directory here, this one. Um, now you could navigate CD and so on, like on Linux or Windows, but that's just that's just you know, we do it better on Risk Guys. We can be classy, so we can hit middle click on this window. We can hit sets directory. That will change all the task windows. Um, point them to this directory. So now we're going to hit GCC. Um, I'm going to give it an output file. Out. I'm going to give it our input file, which is going to be hello world .c. Hit enter, and it says insufficient memory for application. I warned you of this. I knew this would happen. Um, the reason why is because before opening an app, RiskOS has already decided how much RAM to give that app. And GCC needs loads of RAM. Um, and you can see here that it's only allocated 640k. Now we need well over 16,000k for GCC. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this. Oh, I'll show you actually. So if I open a task window, you can see that a task window is now open of 640k. But we need one with enough to run GCC. So we're going to change this. It needs to be over 16,000. Yeah, that'll do. So now when you open a task window, you see it's got over 16,000k RAM allocated to it. Actually, let's change that back because we don't want all of our software to be given that much memory. Um, that's the whole point of risk OS sort of goes out the window. Brilliant. So now we'll try again. GCC dash O um, dash O out. Hello world. C. So it's working this time. We haven't got the memory error. And give it a second. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Oh, what's it saying? Oh, yeah. Sometimes it does this. I'm not going to lie. I have absolutely no idea why. I'll find out for you another time. Let's just try it again. Dash O out hello world dot C. Just no idea why. GCC wasn't made for Risk OS, so it has some weird errors. There we go, it worked that time. See, we changed nothing. Why why that happened, who knows? And here we have an ELF file. I'm gonna double click it. And can you see it says hello world? Press space or click mouse to continue. So Brilliant, that's our first app done. So we just printed Hello World to the screen. Hopefully so that's our Hello World application. And I've shown you a bit of how you program in GCC in RiskOS. All right, see you next tutorial.